Hello everybody and good morning. That's not even what they say anymore, I feel like. Um, so Tiff and Rachel's excellent adventures are happening today. She's at the post office um, picking up some stuff that I'm sure you wonderful kids sent. Um, and I'm sitting in the car by myself. Oh look, I don't know if you can see, this is gonna be terrible. It's gonna look like my boobs. Sharks on my shirt today. <laughs> Um, I am really bad at like, just uh, vamping, so <laughs> I think I'll wait till she gets back. Okay, bye. Nope. God, the buttons. You guys, the buttons. But I'm looking this way. <laughs> hit the button. I hit it! Oh, you mean again? Yeah, I mean make a recording. I, it is! Oh my gosh. <laughs> How do you not have good muscle memory with your finger? I mean, that's like what you are as a person. Yeah, I get it. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're supposed to like roll your eyes. I did. Okay. And then you got mad at me. Have you told everybody about the golf pro am we're going to today? Ha ha ha. <laughs> I showed him my shirt and that was when I did my accidental tit shot. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Because <laughs> I was like, there's sharks on my shirt. And then as I was zooming in, I was like, well, those are just my boobs. It is a really cute shirt, though. You look good. I look good. I, yeah, you do. All right. Do you guys want to see Tiff? <laughs> no, they just want to <laughs> stare at you for 25 minutes. <laughs> That's a long time. All right, folks. Obviously, we're on a crazy... Oh, one of my eyes looks bigger than the other. Oh my god. <laughs> is it because I was stretching it out? What? Were you trying to stretch your No, eye? I was... <laughs> I was doing this. Okay. <laughs> but when I open my eyes, this one looks significantly bigger. Oh my God. This is what happens when a child gets a hold of the camera. <laughs> oh dear. So we are headed to go pick up. Maybe just point it around me for a minute. <laughs> pick up Harrison's <laughs> smash cake for his photos tomorrow which I know you're gonna be here so are you gonna go if they're early you're gonna go to How, see him what time I don't know I have to stop it's not at, gonna take that long I have to stop at work tomorrow what what you know what I, I'm okay with it I thought you were gonna say you were gonna stop at your mom's no which I would have been okay but I know that you don't mix visits I don't mix visits my mom right. would slice me if I came downstate to visit someone and didn't visit her. You know what's great is that she'd slice you the first couple times, but then she'd just get over it. Oh, uh, nope. Yeah, she would. And because I know that because you've never actually tested that theory. Okay. Right. <laughs> Let me take you back all the way to 2005. <laughs> take you back. You ready? So terrible. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you might want to get some shots of yourself in here too, so it's not just my beautiful side profile the whole time. You do have a beautiful side profile. I do. You have, a, you have I, a zit in your hairline that I really want to get. What? <laughs> Is it this one? No, it's this one. Ow! Is it white? Yeah. Stop it! Is it really the camera's just staring at it? Well, that's technically staring at your face. Is it gone now? Uh, no. It's still white? Yeah. God, stop staring at me! Okay. <laughs> But you were telling the story. Is it gone now? No. It has to be. Yeah, it is. I didn't really Thank look. Thank you. So anyway, back to 2005. I was visiting a friend and I drove downstate about five minutes from my mom's house. We went and got some Chinese food. Okay. Uh -huh. I ended up choking at the restaurant on the Chinese food. Was this the chicken bone? Yeah. I okay. had to go to the hospital to get the chicken removed. Yes. Blah, blah, blah. Yes. And stayed in a hotel that night because I didn't stay at my mom's house. Uh-huh. When she found out that I choked, went to the hospital, and all that stuff, you know uh -huh. what she told me? Uh -huh. That's what you get for not coming to see your mother. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now, of course, she didn't want me to choke or anything. Don't get me wrong. She's but like, the real MVP. She, you know. And there have been times, believe me, there have been times that I've gone down there and she always finds out and she always nips at me like a little chihuahua. So what? Oh, man. You would not say this to her face if you saw her. You gotta be stronger. <laughs> okay. My mom doesn't even ask anymore. 
That's how much I've beaten her down. Oh, your mom and dad are coming to Harrison's party. I know. I'm so excited. Are you going to be here for... Are you coming that Friday again? Probably. Okay. <laughs> People like to look at you too. You got to learn. If you're going to wield the camera, you got to learn how to do it, okay? I, I'll... You got to wield back and forth. I'm really getting excited. I love making up these gift bags for kids. I feel like this is what I was supposed to do with my life. Like a party planner? Yeah, kind of. Um, if you tell Carrie that, she'll kill you. I know. I, I told her I wanted to go back to school again, and she sat me down and said, No. No. And then walked away. Yeah. But she, she made it look like it was going to be this long, drawn-out thing. <laughs> she looked like, at let's me, have a discussion about it. No. She looked at me and went, No. <laughs> and that was it. Not long or drawn out, just no. flat out. No. Yeah. Not think, happening. I think she'd slice me too. I mean, you don't even want, you shouldn't want to go back. Like, you've been in school your entire life. Well, what else can, okay, like, this is going to sound really greedy and I don't mean it to. It's bouncy. It is. It is really bouncy. It was my fault. I didn't want to take the expressway. It's okay. But, like, even if I went back and got another, like, nothing else would satisfy me other than an, another doctorate. Right. Because I know that I can keep pushing myself and keep getting higher. Right. But what the hell am I going to do with a double doctorate? Nothing. Like, do you think somebody would pay me more? No. No, because, like, what kind of job could I do that I had two doctorates in and find a company who would be willing to pay me? The bajillion for, dollars that you're right, worth, yeah. For both of my expertises. No. I don't even know if that's a word. Expertise. Uh, difficult to say. It sounds good. I know. I no. don't know the plural of a lot of words. But anyway, you, are you going to bring a suit for Harrison's party? Oh, like a like a like a bathing suit? Yeah, because you know I got that giant um, slide. I know. I feel like no. <coughs> really? Yeah. Are you just going to go in your regular clothes then? No, I don't know if I'll go at all. What? What? <laughs> Well, you should bring a suit, though, because my mom's going to come stay at the hotel because she's bringing a bunch of kids. Uh-huh. And it's going to have a pool. So if you come up Friday... Right, but there's going to be a whole bunch of kids there. Okay, well, you don't have to talk to them. You can just go in the pool. <sighs> What's the problem here? Kids in a pool are the worst. No, they're not. Yes, they are. Unless they're Harrison's age and they don't understand how splashing you works. Or just general knowledge of other people's existence in the world. Do you think the pool is going to be the size of this car? It doesn't matter. Oh, what, are they going to flock uh, to you? Yes, they That's always flock fault. to me. You're a child magnet. Uh -huh. You know, if you pretended to like them, they probably wouldn't come to you. I don't, pre I don't actively pretend to hate them. Well, I'm just... My arms hurt. <laughs> I guess we should have had the GoPro out. This is like a workout I didn't want. <laughs> I'm for real though. I'm super excited. <laughs> like we, like Carrie is. You should have seen her when the gift card started coming in for the um, Michigan Foster Closet. That's really cool that you guys got that much she, stuff will kill me but I know she won't watch this vlog but she was crying that's cool like she and she doesn't do that very often no like I, when it's usually she, Harrison related stuff if she's yeah. I mean although kind of is Harrison related stuff because like that was what you guys asked for for his birthday right so and she was really like thankful that's cool like for that and she said you know you know because of course Harrison has clothes he has right. food he has toys but you know, when your child's turning one, there's always some stuff you want him to, to get. Sure. You know, but like, we haven't even bought him a gift yet. Uh huh. You know, we made that, that list. Right. You know, and <laughs> still trying to get him to play with the Toy Story toys, but he freaking loves Elmo. Oh. Yeah. Well, yeah, he does, he does love Toy Story too, don't get me wrong. But, you know, like when she, she was like, listen, I know that people, oh, what, uh, some guy who didn't know where his road was. She's like, I know that, you know, because it's a big family party. So she's like, right. Instead of family, like bringing anything, can we just let them do this? And I was like, yeah, that's great. And she was like even crying when she asked me. Yeah. Because she thought there was going to be like a moment where I was, you know, not wanting to give, because it's his first birthday. True. You know, like not wanting to give up that first birthday. And I said, you know, to be honest, I'd rather give up his first birthday and then 
depending on where we are in life, giving up all of them. Yeah. You know, I don't think he, he is, he's just a lucky little boy. Right. You know, and, and she cried. And when I started buying all that stuff right away, she was like, wow, you're like really on this. And I'm like, I'm on this because, I mean, not because I don't want to, but because I know how much it makes her happy. Right. And she was like, that was cute. That's cool. She's a pretty good lady. She ain't bad. I am, I will admit though, like, I don't want this to sound condescending at all, but I am excited to film, because he has received some gifts from people. Yeah. Like, I am excited to film that for everybody too. Yeah. You know, because I think he's going to be just super over the moon happy. He would be happy with blocks. And he is, he doesn't, he's one, he doesn't understand. Right. Yeah. Maybe well, garage sale, you want to go? Get him a cardboard, I don't have any cash. I, I have, I have some. Also, I'm pretty sure that if I let you take me to a garage sale, Carrie will. I'm nervous because if murder we, me. <laughs> if we stop somewhere with the cake, yeah, I don't know it's gonna if get the all cake's melty. gonna get melty, and she'll yeah. probably kill me then. It seems accurate. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I my hands hurt, and I, I have to stop, stop doing stuff. Dang it! Dang it! <laughs> so we got the cake. Yay, here's we the did. cake. Cakes. You guys will already see this before this video comes out, so I'm not worrying about it. So it's hot, and I'm sniffing a lot, and Rachel's like, what's going on with you? Do you have allergies? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, they have allergies. So she starts saying something about her work, and why don't we just go ahead and kind of like, kind of restart it. Okay. <laughs> so she, Tiff was saying, like, yeah. you know, the cottonwoods blowing all over the place and whatever. So I was leading into a work story. Yep. So the office part of our of my job is air conditioned as well as the machine shop part, which is where we work on our equipment. <laughs> where where we work on our equipment. So I then say, you keep saying we like you work on equipment. <laughs> I do. Like you build vacuums and put them together. <laughs> build vacuums but I can fix them yes how do you know how to fix a vacuum because I had really good training from my old boss because it's a vacuum right. it's a right but it's a, a lot vacuum of the time, I mean a lot of the times it's simple stuff like they'll shut down for clogs and you just have to reset them or like the end will be broke or the end will be bad on the, like the vacuum cord and you just snip it off and put a new end on but like an electrical end yes <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. Don't you have to be like an electrician to put a new plug on something? No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> so a lot of the time stuff will break on site and we have to be able to, most of the time we have to be able to fix it on site so that they can still use the equipment at night to do their jobs. Okay. Now I realize this is a horrible angle for me. Sorry guys. I'm also driving the car. Because I'm um, holding the precious cake. Yeah, because she's holding the cake and I have this connected to the steering wheel. So there's nothing I can do here. <laughs> um, but at least I'm driving safely. True. However, <clears throat> I did not know you were like a jack of all trades. Well, I mean, I'm not saying I can like rebuild a vac motor, but I can do I can do stuff. The fact that you just called it a vac motor, <laughs> it makes me believe that you can. <laughs> Wait, I feel like I'm learning about you again. I'm yeah. learning something new. Well, I just learned you had allergies and you learned that I can do stuff with cords. Did I ever tell you the time I tried to unplug a vacuum and I just ripped it out of the wall and the plug part stayed in? That sounds right. And then I went to go grab it and it was like going. Yeah, it, yeah, that's bad. Yeah, it was bad. And then I had to turn off all the power on the house because I so couldn't figure could out what plug it was. Take it out. Yeah. So I could take it out and I was still scared and I got in a lot of trouble because it was called a, I think it was a Dyson. Oh. Like someone came to our house to sell it to us. Well, um, they used one? to sell Kirby. Kirby. Yep. It was a Kirby. Yeah. Uh, because every time I saw it, it reminded me of the old uh, Bugs Bunny when the guy would come in and sell the vacuum yes. from Walla Walla, Washington. <laughs> and somebody came to the door, they sold us this $1,200 vacuum and I yeah. freaking broke it. Yeah, we had employees <sighs> do that kind of crap all the time. They're like, oh, don't be just, yeah, sure. Just rip it on the damn wall. Well, you can fix it. What are you worrying about? I Wish I knew you yeah. 25 years ago. <laughs> Actually, it would have been way longer than that. Yeah. Oh so the my point God. of my story was. Yeah, the point. Let's get to the point. air conditioned 
office air conditioned shop part with the big garage doors not air conditioned so they leave the big garage doors open and every day when i come in it's like a cottonwood factory in there oh god no i would die i would yeah. i would just look it in there just and die kind of swirls around yeah. yeah doesn't know doesn't cottonwood know that it's killing people I, like I, how dare you just I fly don't around think it cares i think that's how just brazen cottonwood is it's so home so this is going to end our Rachel and Tiff's crazy adventures we still we need to come up with a jingle maybe yeah, we should really practice jingle. the jingle like we can find some free music from like YouTube or from Facebook uh -huh. and like dun -dun, dun -dun. thank you for watching Rachel and Tiff's crazy adventures Beep -beep -beep. Oh, so you didn't like that? <laughs> yeah. Wiki, 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 oh, Rachel and Tiff. Cruising that around. That I'm more on board with. I you're, like wiki, wiki. You're more yeah. on board with the wiki, wiki yes. instead of the bip? Yes. Wiki, 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 <laughs> it's the end screen! Yay! Today's shout out goes to. And if you missed yesterday's video, look right there. And if you want to subscribe, click right up there. Uh, by the way, Carrie, I really like your shirt. I like your shirt too. Where'd you get it? Currently, our shirts are available at our Teespring store. Go check it out. <laughs> Thanks, guys.